fellow music fans, welcome back to Psychology of Rock. If you're new here, my name's Nina, and recently in three previous videos, I did individual personality assessments of all three incredible sisters that make up the Mexican rock band The Warning, Danny, Pau, and Ale. And in response to these videos, several of you asked if I would do one more analysis where I looked at the results of these assessments and compared them and talk a little bit about the similarities and differences that I found between their personalities types. So I thought that sounded like a really fun idea and today's the day that I'm going to be doing exactly that. Now if you've been following the channel for a while you know that I'm a huge fan and supporter of the band and so I found this analysis to be incredibly enjoyable. But before we dive in as always I want to give the huge disclaimer that this analysis is purely speculative and based solely on my own opinion and the observations that I made by watching their performances, interviews, and social media posts as opposed to actually administering the tests on the individuals themselves. So please keep that in mind. And also I would love to hear your opinion and anything that you would like to add to this analysis. So feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So with that being said, I want to quickly touch upon the methodology I use for these videos. So for these assessments, I used the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or the MBTI. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with this tool. I chose it because it's very popular in pop culture and because it is the type of assessment that you requested of me for the warning sisters. But typically I would use the five factor model of personality. Sometimes it's called the big five, but I do feel that the MBTI can be incredibly insightful and it's very useful when we actually want to compare personality types, which is of course what we are doing today. The primary difference, if you're curious, is that the big five solely measures the different domains of the personality, whereas the MBTI attempts to identify which personality categories within this model that a person best fits into. So I think they're both very useful personality systems. There are some overlaps, but they are actually quite different. And the one we are using today, the MBTI, is predominantly based on Swiss psychologist Carl Jung's theory of psychological type. In fact, Carl Jung really Really introduce into psychology the concept of the extrovert and the introvert. So you probably know a little bit more about this theory than you might think. So when we make an assessment using the MBTI, we are simply trying to determine the fundamental personality characteristics that a person possesses between four opposing pairs. These are introversion versus extroversion, intuition versus sensing, feeling versus thinking, and perceiving versus judging. In the end, four letters will be assigned depending on the results and the combination of these letters determines which of the 16 different Myers-Briggs personality types that the person falls under. Now in the videos I already made about the sisters, I speculated about their MBTI personality types. I shared how I came to these conclusions and then I gave an overview of the types themselves. So if you want a deeper look into these personality types, go ahead and check out those videos. But it was my opinion Opinion that Danny is an ESFJ, meaning she is an extrovert. She is sensing, feeling, and judging, which is a personality type that is outgoing, organized, loyal, and very tender hearted. And for Pau, I speculated that she was an ENFP, meaning she is extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving. They are known for their vibrant energy, independence, and charisma. And I am an expert in this personality type because it is also so my own. And last but certainly not least is Ale. I actually did her assessment first. I felt that she was either an INFJ or an ISFJ. I really felt that she was kind of smack dab in between the two. I could see traits of her being both a sensor and intuitive, maybe a little bit more of a sensor. However, many of you mentioned that she actually discussed her MBTI in a live and that she self-assessed herself to be an INFJ. So we are definitely going to go with that. I did try to find this interview. I could not. It is probably in Spanish, but all the same, INFJ means she is introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. They're known for their inner vision, their deep thoughtfulness, their personal values, and also their imagination. And before I move on to a deeper analysis, I want to quickly point out something that I thought was really cool and also very rare in how balanced it is. 
Each sister has one unique trait that the others do not have. So Danny is the only sensor, Pau is the only perceiver, and Ali is the only introvert. They also all have two traits that they share with one sister. So both Pau and Danny are extroverts, Danny and Ali are both judgers, and Pau and Ali are both intuitives. And they all share the trait of feeling, which I think is a huge asset because they work together and they spend so much time together. Feeling are usually not only aware of their own emotions, but also of the emotions of the people around them. They are also very protective of the people they value, which I think we can definitely see in both their personal and professional relationships. So these are the things that we can notice right away on the surface, but now let's go a little bit deeper into what makes the sisters quite different from one another. The first thing that we have to understand is that different personality types actually see the world in very very different ways. And a lot of this has to do with our cognitive functions, especially the one that has the highest priority in our own particular brain. This function dictates how we experience life and all the stimuli that we experience is filtered through it. We call it our dominant function because it's the one that is the most highly developed and it becomes the core of our conscious personality. And in this case, all three sisters have different dominant functions, which is the primary reason they have such distinct personalities and strengths. So let's start with the oldest to the youngest. So as an ESFJ, Danny's dominant function is called extroverted feeling. Extroverted feelers are concerned with creating harmony, caring for others, and bringing people together. They can easily read the emotions of others, they are very empathetic, and they can also unfortunately easily absorb the feelings of others, and they tend to make decisions based on what is best for the group. So above everything else, that desire to create harmony and to make sure that everyone everyone in her world is happy is going to be a huge priority for her. I think that also explains why she is such a great front woman for the band because it's very evident that she wants everyone to have the best show experience possible. She's always trying to take care of the audience and her fans. So I think her personality type definitely suits her profession. Now I speculated that Pow was an ENFP, which means that her dominant function is extra extroverted intuition. People with this dominant cognitive function are highly curious, they are incredibly open to new experiences, and they instinctively notice patterns and symbols in the world that other people might not be able to see. They are very focused on possibilities and they tend to think out of the box. They also tend to be fantastic communicators that really like to express themselves, which is why I think she is so interesting to listen to in interviews and also why she is such an amazing lyricist. People with this personality type are incredibly observant and they can usually take these observations and cleverly put them into words. So even though Danny and Pau may come across as being somewhat similar because they are both outgoing extroverts, behind the scenes their brains are actually functioning very differently, which is going to affect how they see the world and also how they make decisions. So now onto Ali. The dominant function of INFJ is introverted intuition. This means that they tend to be deep thinkers that focus inwards on their internal world of thoughts and ideas. This can sometimes give them an almost mysterious air about them because they are also a little bit more guarded with what they tend to share with other people, which we definitely can see with Ali. And like Pau, because they both share the fact that they have a type of intuitive function that is dominant dominant, she will also tend to look for hidden meanings and symbols and trends when she is perceiving the world around her. But even though these functions have commonalities and share characteristics, they are also incredibly distinct. So for example, extroverted intuitives tend to focus on sharing information, whereas introverted intuitives tend to focus on gathering information. Extroverted intuitives are brainstormers. They are the what if type of people, whereas introverted intuitives tend to interpret information in a much more specific way and see fewer possibilities in different situations. 
situations. Extroverted intuitives are also much more impulsive than introverted intuitives who prefer to have structure and like to plan things. Another huge difference is that extroverted intuitives tend to be those great communicators, whereas introverted intuitives can sometimes struggle to put their thoughts into words or may just choose to keep their thoughts to themselves. They don't have that same intense drive for outward self-expression. So that is a notable difference. And now I want to move on to the specific question you asked me, which is which of the sisters is the most different or in other words, which two sisters are the most alike? I think this is a very challenging question with no clear answer because unfortunately or fortunately for them, they all share the exact same number of commonalities and distinctions. So it really depends on what area we are focusing on, but I'm still going to attempt to answer. I think because Ale is the only introvert, she definitely comes off as the one that is the most different or her behavior seems to be the most different of the three. However, Danny's cognitive function is actually the most different of the three. So I think her overall approach to life is going to be the one that is the most distinct. But if I were pressed to come up with my own opinion, looking at everything overall on who I think is really the most different out of the three, I actually think it is Pau. Out of the three, I think she's the most concerned with being individualistic and expressing herself on a very personal level. I think she's also the one that's the most edgy. She's the only one that has tattoos. She is the most outspoken in my opinion also. And I think we also see a difference in her social media posts. She posts a lot more frequently than the other sisters. So if I were pressed, I would have to go with Pau, but I do think all three personalities are incredibly distinct. I also want to say that if three people had to be selected to work together all of the time and to collaborate on a creative project like they are doing, then these personalities really are ideal because their differences actually work for them as opposed to against them. They really complement one another rather than clash, which definitely is not always the case. And when we're talking about songwriting and performing, it's really the best case scenario because they all bring something unique to the table when combined it really makes their art even stronger. It's almost unheard of that every single member of a band or every single sibling within a family even would be genuinely likable. Yet that really is what we see here, three extraordinary personalities. And I think that helps to explain why above and beyond the warning as a whole, each of the sisters has their own loyal, dedicated following because there is something special about each of them, which is why it's been such a pleasure creating this video series. So those are my thoughts on the warning, but I would love to hear yours. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not done so already. I would love it if you stayed connected and don't forget to get your tickets because the warning is about to head out on their world tour with plush. It's going to be an amazing show. Definitely check it out. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next week.